Hi, in this video, we'll see about the tree maps. Now, what exactly is a tree map? You can see at the back end, this is nothing but a tree map which is given here. So for creating a tree maps, we need two things. One is the dimension and one is the measures. So let us see that. So I'll just click on this show me button. And on the right hand side, if you see, this is nothing but a tree map. So here for tree maps, you need one thing that is one or more dimensions, one or more measures. So if you see, I have the dimensions and second one, I have the measures here. Now, what exactly is a tree map? Tree map, if you see, observe here, the values in the dimension will define the structure. As I repeat, a value in the dimension will define the structure, whether it is a rectangle, square or something else. And the second thing is whatever values you have in the uh, measures that will represent size of the boxes here, the rectangular boxes here. So let us see now, how do I create a simple uh, tree maps? How do I create a colored tree maps? And how do I create interactive tree maps? Let us see now. So I'm creating a, a workbook named as tree maps and the data source is global superstore data uh, that is database here. You can download this file below this video. Now let us see that. So I'll just create a simple tree map. How do I create it? Very simple. Select the dimension, press control key, select the sales and then to create any map. Right now we'll be working on a tree map. So I'll click on this show me button and I'll select this button here. So I'll just click on this place and the tree map is created. Within 30 seconds, you can create a tree map. It's very easy here. Now, the phone which is given is a rectangular place. It says the sales of the phone is the highest among all of them. If you see the lowest one, the paper has the lower one. There are some more small boxes where I cannot show you the names itself. So I'll just click on this button here. Now, the phones are given, but what is the exact sales done? The copiers are given, but what is the exact sales done? This might be a confusion because all three are of the same boxes, same size. So I want to understand what is the exact sales done. So I'll pick up the sales and drop into this labels and I'll select this as sum of sales. Click on OK. Now, if you observe the phones have done a sales of 1706824 and copiers have done this much sales. So I can definitely say the highest sales is done by the phones itself. So this is how we can work on this simple tree maps. Let us see if I want to create a colored tree map, how do I create it? So I'll just click on this tree maps, same thing, subcategory from the dimensions and I'll select sales from this measures, selected both the options and I'll go to this show me button, click on this option and I'm getting a simple tree map. But as I said, I want to create a colored tree map so I can pick up any one option from here. Let's say I'll pick up the region and I'll drop into this colors part. So if you observe, everything is colored at all the places. Now, what it says is this color represents something else, this one some other color. So let us see what is the pink color says. Pink color sales, sales of sales of the subcategory in which region, if you observe here, in this region, if you see Southeastern Asia region, this will be the answer given here. So I think it is getting complicated because of small mini boxes. So I'll remove this region outside again. I'll pick up any one uh, dimensions which has less values. For example, I'll pick up here as category. So I'll pick up the category and drop into this colors part. Now, if you observe different sections are given, the red color stands for the technology. If you observe the second one, this blue color, it stands for the furniture and third one, it stands for the office sales. So these are three categories which are created. Now you can understand sales done in the technology about the phones, sales done by the, uh, you can say this one as furniture about the chairs and same sales done by the uh, office supplies for the storage. So when you pick up from dimensions, it will create separate boxes. Okay. Now I'll remove this category outside. What will happen if I pick up any value from here? If you observe, if I pick up this profit and drop into this colors, now you can easily understand. If you observe here, these are the colors given. What is the meaning of this color? So if you see sum of profit, the more the blue color, that means the highest profit. The, the lesser the, the golden color, it says there's a less profit. So from this diagram, I can easily figure out copiers has the highest profit because it is a dark blue color and tables has the lowest profit because the color is given as different here. So when you pick up any option from this measures, you'll get only one tree map with the different color ranges. If you pick up from the dimensions, you'll get multiple colors and you'll be getting multiple sales, you know, with different section itself. So this is where you can create colored tree maps. That is very simple and easy method. Let us see the last one. If I want to create interactive tree maps, that means if I select some options, it should change here. That is interactive tree maps. 
So first of all, I need to create a tree, a tree map here. Select, I'll select here as subcategory. Press control key and select sales. Then I'll click on this show me button and select this option as tree maps. So now it is selected. I'll click on this place and it will go back. As I said, I want to create an interactive tree map so that if I keep on clicking the check boxes, the map should change. What I want is I will be creating interactive based on category. So I'll just click on this button here, click on this show filter. So now if you see the filter is added on the right hand side, a filter is added. If I keep on selecting any options here, the data will change. I'll just pick up here and I'll drop it here itself. Yeah, I'll just pick up from here. I'll drag it here itself and I'll remove this option. I don't want this hide card itself. Now what I'll do is I'll stand here and I can show you the different options. If I select here as all, if I select furniture, so related to this category furniture, these are the subcategories which are given and these are the sales. So if I select furniture, if I deselect furniture, if I click on this office supplies, these are the subcategories in office supplies like storage, appliances and binders where I have this much as sales. If I select technology, these are the options related to technology and these are the sales. So what I'm doing is I'm if I'm changing the check boxes, the map is changing. This is known as interactive interactive map itself. You can see this one interactive tree maps. So what we have seen is basically how to create a tree map that is simple tree map, colored tree map, interactive tree maps. So I hope you have understood different types of tree maps. That's all for this video.